The Illusion of Death Fragmented Account of Prophet Maruk's Encounter with the Spirit of Alessia Fragment Then, because he had toyed with the ape maiden Dulcer, did Maruk spend his century of penance upon the stone meadows, and his sight was seared, and his tongue was swollen, and his pelt was mottled, and his left thumb pointed ever at the stars of the tower. And ever did the shade of Al-Esh speak to him, serrated words that rasped his concept organ and brought him to wisdom through affliction. And he recorded her words in his simian gore with glyphs on the beseeching scarp, and the fire in his blood did etch the lithic face with the seventy-seven inflexible doctrines. And though the labor depleted, yea, even consumed his very substance, he stinted not, for he knew that death is an illusion. For did not Al-Esh persist, speaking knives, though dead? And had not Pelin Al been witness to her death, although dead himself at the death of Umaril? Then did Maruk know a right reaching, that one devoted to proper life and Elnofic annulment shall persist beyond the illusion of death. For indeed, the drive to expunge corruption can conquer even the Archaean cycle.